Good evening, I'm Healy Wilgus. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks for being with us tonight. Our top story, the future of the Suncoast company that owns Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Tonight, the circus will perform in Tampa. It's the first in a series of shows that will be its last in Florida forever. But as Ringling Brothers gets ready to close the curtain for good and lay off hundreds of workers, the owner of the circus is set to get millions of dollars from state tax dollars. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is joining us now on how Feld Entertainment is eligible for those funds. Dwayne. Well, Haley, although the Palmetto-based company will lose the circus, they also own other touring shows that they say are growing from year to year. As a kid, Arnie Oldring is one of millions vividly remembering one thing. Going to Madison Square Garden in New York City and as a youth seeing the great one and only Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. But even with the circus set to close, 400 of the jobs being eliminated are actually touring positions, which the state of Florida does not consider as part of the job creation uh, numbers. Vice President of Financial Planning Casey Rogers says Feld Entertainment still received approval from the state to receive economic incentives totaling more than $3.5 million. Uh, the key is that we create local jobs, we create jobs for people that are here. We move people down here from uh, D.C. and the Chicago areas to be able to come down here and reinvest in real estate. Governor Rick Scott's office says companies like Feld Entertainment, who creates jobs and happens to own Ringling Circus, qualifies to receive this funding. Uh, and so as we continue to create jobs in the state of Florida and in the Manatee County area, we will continue to receive those incentives. We also need to maintain those incentives and those positions through a certain period of time. Positions created for Fells other touring properties. Whether it be Marvel Universe Live, Disney on Ice, Disney Live, uh, Supercross, Arena Cross, Monster Jam. And so the headquarters is the one that is subject to the job creation incentives. For Rogers, he says the key is to keep the ball rolling now. Through 2016, Feller Entertainment has created more jobs faster and at a higher wage than we promised. So we are ahead of the job creation goals for the headquarters location here in Manatee County. And in the future. So we're supposed to create 435 jobs uh, all the way through 2019 and then maintain those jobs past 2024. And although many residents here on the Sun Coast mourn the loss of the circus, they say they're happy about the jobs and the economy. And it's a great motivator for this country to stimulate, stimulate uh, job growth. It is wonderful to keep maintaining as long as it's done properly and under good supervision. Rogers goes on to say the growing job base at their facilities in Manatee County has rejuvenated the economy in the Bradenton area. Back to you.